It has been nearly two months since five administrators at Midland Christian School were arrested with a failure to report. Bray Russell, Greg McClendon, Matthew Counts, Jared Lee, and Dana Ellis. All of them arrested and waiting to go before a grand jury. Jonathan Palasik tells us what's been going on behind the scenes the past two months. Jonathan, what's going on? You spoke to a defense attorney today. Yeah, I did, and it's been a long, slow, uh, slow moving last two months now. And I spoke with Frank Sellers. He's an attorney that's representing Jared Lee. And he told me that his team and the other defense teams, they haven't been able to do much to this point because, you know, they've been waiting on the report to be submitted to the, DZ, to the DA's office from Midland Police. For the five arrested administrators from Midland Christian, the last two months have been a waiting game. Well, there's no hearings to be had because no court case has been filed. Um, you know, a grand jury decides whether or not these folks should be indicted. It took two months to get the investigation report to the DA's office, and we're being told it could be another month before we even get around to a grand jury. Frank Sellers, the attorney representing Jared Lee, believes that the interpretation of the charges that these five are facing is pretty rare. Each of the administrators has been charged with a, a rather obscure family code violation of failing to report uh, harm to a child with the intent to conceal. And from our research, uh, this is probably the first time the felony version of this has ever been charged in Texas. Seller wishes that this all could have moved faster. The entire investigation was run by a detective at the Midland Police Department. And up until last Thursday, she did not even complete and submit her report to the DA's office. We had been begging for that for months now. Uh, and just last Thursday, she finally got it over there. So for now, they're just waiting on the grand jury. By law, a grand jury is designed to be a one-sided presentation by the prosecution. Uh, some DAs, some counties in Texas allow for defense attorneys to go in and make presentations on behalf of their clients. Until we get to, to the grand jury point where we can submit our packets, um, other than talking to, to you, Jonathan, there's really not much we can do. Now, Sellers told me that he said that all five of the administrators are shell-shocked over this whole process and that they know that they are innocent. We'll provide updates once we learn more. Tatum.